All right, back to work. Yeah, this is just a run of the mill buck 119. I bought it at Canadian Tire. I've seen them at Walmart also. I paid, well, see here, I'm in Canada, so we tend to pay a lot more for things. Uh, and I paid 60 bucks for this, all right? Uh, compared to other options, that's pretty reasonable. So let's see how it works as a makeshift ax here. I'm gonna save all these branches and burn them, so we're not gonna waste any parts of the tree. Knife's pretty good at taking branches off, but it's not so good at chopping through the tree. So, to make some nice blocks of wood, I'm going to use my saw again. And see, some of the branches I cut off, all right, there was no greenery left on this tree. This whole thing was dead. It's been dead for a long time. It was still standing, gave up a small fight, but it's still dead. So, no live trees were harmed in this movie or video. I'm gonna cut this in half to make it more manageable. Take it from there. The whole outside of the tree is full of ice. Makes it a little bit difficult to keep it in one spot. What I like to do is cut to build my fire. We'll pick a spot where there's some standing dead trees. And when I cut one down, what I do is I leave a stub, all right? And I use this to uh, process the firewood. Sometimes I use it as a seat. All right, but since I've been bringing that little stool with me, I use it more as a, a chopping block. So what I'm gonna do is cut it down a little bit to make sure that I have a nice flat top, make it easier to work with. Nice and flat. Better.
All right, I'm not gonna waste battery power. Just, uh, I'm gonna cut this whole thing into nice blocks and before I start chopping, I'll turn the camera back on so you can see how I do it. 